Uh, let's talk about rapper Takashi Six Nine. Oh, man. Um, when he got jumped and everything in um, Florida at the gym. Okay, before we even go into the article, I know I'm going out of order. Okay. Um, everybody know he got jumped. Yeah. Well, if if, if you don't know, there's plenty of videos out there for you to see. Right, and it's, it's on our uh, it's on the reporter newspaper online.com as well. Um, this right here is illustrating he is back on social media after that horrific ass whooping. The even sadder part is for him to show back up on social media, you can still see the ass whooping. He's, he's blinging and everything, he's stunting. But he seemed sad as hell, man. He was like embarrassed. It's, the video is on the website, the reporter newspaper online. In the uh, entertainment section. In the entertainment section. And you'll see him talking and he amongst f uh, friends, homies. It wasn't the thuggest of groups. These people looked at like, I swear, it looked at like white boys you would see at LA Fitness, who he was sitting around the table with, okay? Now, if that's your best crew and those are people that you love, he, he done gave this dude 100000 for his birthday at that table in that interview with his friends. Well, you know, you got to have your, your road dogs with you, man. You're, you're a rapper. You are a, th you are a star. You walking around trying to say I'm gonna keep it real, and you pumping all that corn, and you you ain't even got a homie that you gave a hundred thousand to to meet you at the damn LA Fitness, but you gonna get this guy a hundred thousand? Like he's that he's that much you do? I'm gonna need you with me, homie. That's that is a job. I done gave you a hundred thousand. You feel what I'm saying? I do. I just I just the reason why I'm steady laughing is. You don't think that you're not branded out here? To me, I don't care where you go. I don't care if you go to St. Louis. I don't care if you go to Bilux Biloxi, Mississippi. I don't care if you go to New York, Pennsylvania. Any, to, you better have security with you because to them, you know, dude, you snitched on every, to, to them, you branded out here as a snitch. Then you got out and got the nerve to be walking amongst us like that's cool. I don't get it anywhere he go. And then, and then not only that, I just seen this dude. I know there's an old video. I seen it a couple of times, but for some reason it was trending again. Him coming out of the garage with a half a million dollars in his arms, threw it on the ground and said, this is my lifestyle. I'm, I'm the type of guy that can take off two years and still live like this. I live like this for real. Pause. Damn the ratting thing. Dude, you could be kidnapped. <laughs> okay. You throw all that money. Right. <coughs> Excuse me, all that money down like that? Right. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, right, right. I mean, this just, it's just, and it's crazy because obviously he wrote checks that he could cash, unlike Tosh K. I'm just saying. Oh, man, he was looking sad though on that table. I was like, oh man, it was sad seeing him cuddled up, taking the ass whooping like that. You know what I'm trying to say? Then he had to walk back in. Yeah, to the and, spot. His, and his bikinis. It looked they like. They him out of his shorts, so he was in there working. Yeah, they, they, no, they no, took no, his pants and he had Yeah, to yeah, because, yeah, they had to take his pants because it looked like he had no bikini, bikinis. He was in his underwear. He was in his tight boxers. Them was not no boxers. Them looked like the swim shorts, the the. Uh, what are you talking about the young man? He was hurting. Okay, he's in there working out. Speed no style, whatever the hell, I don't know. What these dudes do? These snitches get stitches. Uh, <laughs> That's how <laughs>